Urdhva Hastasana, stretch the arms up. The last video, we're talking about the towel that you can use and make sure my head, my chest and my sacrum in one line. <laughs> Today, we will introduce you with the practice that approach the yoga practice with the protecting the fear of the cold and also the virus, which is called coronavirus 19, I think COVID-19, that all over the world that have been prepared that not to get sick. So first thing the yoga approach is how to get rid of the fear itself. Fear is one of obstacle of yoga practice. So the first one is simple yoga asana, which is called Tadasana. Stand with the feet, hip width apart. Bring the firmness of quadricep, lift the chest. Your shoulders here rolling back and lift the chest. Right here, the location of the pelvis, which is the groin area, is have circulation. And the armpit area, which is where is the lymph node which is where it's helping to get the flow circulation. You stand here, a few breaths. Urdhva Hastasana, stretch the arms up. This is straighten the legs and the arm and open up the armpit. Do a few times so that you stretch the arms up. Inhale the breath, exhale, release the hand. Badangulyasana, interlock the finger. Stretch up with the arms. Make sure you're not lean forward with the thighs. Press the top of the thighs back. Bring the weight on the heel and stretch up the arms and the elbow. Each hand interlock the finger. Stretch your palms forward and stretch up. So the armpit and the hip area is very important to create space and extension there and release. The other pose is called Gomukhasana. The arm is behind here and shoulders back and this hand can come up with the hooking of the hand. And if you see from the front part, my armpit of my left side is extend while my right armpit here is opening. But if this is quite difficult for a couple of you, um, the Previous, the last video, we talking about the towel that you can use at home so that I can use the towel here to go this way. And then you use the hand here, very simple. And shoulders back. Get this area, the armpit opening. And that's built your confidence. You create space for your chest and your breathing. And this towel, you can also use this as well to stretch the arms, bend the elbow, open the chest. This way, or even right here. Rolling the arms out and stretch back. See, have many ways to use this one and stretch up. Now, the second one, of after you do arm work, it's called Virabhadrasana 1, Warrior 1. So I step my right foot forward, left leg back. So this back leg, I extend back. So my front part of the hips here is stretched back. And when I bend the front leg, it's help opening up into the front hip, which is where the area also, the lymphatic area, and lifting the chest. Virabhadrasana one, arms up. Do a few times, inhale the breath. I exhale, I bend the front leg while the back leg is stretched firmly back. Okay, and we do the second side. So warrior, it's helping. That's when you bend the front leg here, the back leg stretch firm. And when I lift my chest and extend the arms upward, it's strengthening into the back area and also it's helping stretch the chest, okay? 
Now, for sitting position, it's called Virasana. I have a bolster, this one here. So I sit in Virasana. This is the ankle stretch back, the calf rolling out, and I sit down here. First you sit, lengthen the side of the trunk and roll the arm back. If you cannot sit like this, you can also sit on a chair, which is, uh, we're going to do twist. I'll show you with the twisting first. So twisting, I inhale and exhale. Inhale up, exhale turn. I inhale because Exhalation of the turning, it allows the spine to get turning and also get the movement into the ribcage area and also the area of the, the chest, the lung area to expand. Now, if you have difficulty to sit like what I just did, you can also sit on a chair like this. You can use chair in the office. This is called Bharat Vajasana. Knees and hip equal. And I turn. And make sure my head, my chest, and my sacrum in one line. So you're not leaning backward. And use this hand to pull, use this hand to push to help turning. So you can see it's very similar, the position. Bharat Vajasana, twist. And the position, the, this one is called downward facing dog pose, that you hand on the chair, then you stretch back, this one. Extend the back, the spine elongate. Now for those practice for a while, that you have quite comfortable of elongation, the bolster for your head, it's help quieting the busyness inside your head. So sometimes you get fear or sometimes get busy in the, during the day so that you can stretch back here and rest your forehead. So this is really great soothing and quiet. My leg is stretching back, my arm stretch forward and I rest my forehead into the bolster. Adhomukashvanasan. Now this is from standing, seated, and also this dog pose. And the last position is called Supta Bada Konasana. So I have bolster, blanket for the head. And also this blanket support. You can see all the poses that I introduced today is actually create space for the hip area, armpit area to help expand the chest. The chest and the lung region. So that right here, abdomen relax, the top buttocks go towards the heel upper arm is rolling out, it's called Supta Barakonasan. And then the last one is called Supai Shavasana, which is the legs relax down. So you let your legs relax to the side. Blanket support for the head. Shoulders relax. This area very important, the armpit. That's where the lymph node and also circulation. That's why people get scared when they're on a plane and everything closing like this for long hours. So it's not good circulation. So that this arm rolling out, the chest open and the groin relax. And you do this five to 10 minutes. Breathe, slow, steady.
So these poses, simple poses to help improve your immune system and also that it help you quiet the consciousness, quiet the mind. So you're not facing in situation with fear, but instead of that, it's with courage and confidence in the health of your practice. Thank you. Hi, my name is Bong <laughs>